One of the federal government's most senior ministers is under pressure after spending nearly $40,000 flying home to Perth for the weekend. Matthias Cormann included a side trip to Adelaide where he met two crossbench senators. But even they say their chat could have waited a few days when Parliament returned in Canberra. Here's political reporter Dan Conifer. Matthias Cormann last June was basking in the glory of Senate success. And with a smile. The photo shoot and TV interviews followed the passing of personal income tax cuts. A major win for hard-working families around Australia. And there was a press conference which quickly turned to unlegislated company tax cuts. How much are you willing to pay to get these reforms through? Well, we'll continue to work with the crossbench to persuade them of the uh, merit of our arguments. Willing to spend nearly $40,000 only hours later, it turns out, to meet a minor party about the proposal. I'm not sure it would pass the pub test. I mean, frankly, I live in Adelaide. Um, the Virgin flight's pretty good. But Virgin and Qantas were out of the question after a morning of media. The solution? Call in the Defence Force. And the RAAF's Challenger aircraft. That shows where the priority of this government is. Big business mates over everyday Australians. The Centre Alliance senators say their Friday meeting could have waited until Monday when MPs were back in Canberra. Look, it could have happened uh, that day, it could have happened uh, the next day, it could have happened three or four days later. I don't believe at the time that there was a critical need for a meeting on that day. I think taxpayers would be very pleased knowing that the Finance Minister is trying to ensure that they pay less tax. Matthias Cormann has been the government's negotiator-in-chief, crisscrossing the country to convince the crossbench about government bills. And his office says this trip was within the rules. But he's also Australia's bean counter-in-chief as finance minister, making the $37,000 one-way ticket even more questionable. Senator Cormann's return flight from Perth, not with the Air Force, cost $1,800. Dan Conifer, ABC News, Canberra.